this myth that the BJJ black belt is the hardest thing to get, uh, you know, uh, second to a date with Beyonce, with Beyonce uh, <laughs> is, 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 is not really true. It's true in certain contexts. It's not true in others. It wasn't true 10 years or 15 years ago, where, where because they want to expand it, they were giving away ranks. And, and that's common to every martial arts. Uh, every martial art had gone through that phase. BJJ went to that phase too, and in a certain way, they're still in that phase. Okay, I, I wasn't aware of that, that like they were giving away like black belts like a lot easier because they wanted to expand their... And, and you know, we're talking about, and, and of course it will be someone and say, that's not true, you got to prove that. Yeah, it's easily proved because if you look at the number of the studios uh, before the, you know, the 80s and 90s and after in the 2000s, there's a boom of studios. Mm. So I'm not talking about the individual experience or the individual trainers or how hard is getting a black belt with a Machado and getting a black belt with your, you know, professors. And, and I'm sure now, now the criteria are getting even more strict because of course you want to put some order into that chaos. But if you look at a 2000, there's a boom of... of, of oh, uh, I see. Yeah, and you can't studio. justify like you can't the justify amount of clubs that. versus like how many, you know, students. Um, mm -hmm. No, and it, it can. I mean, the usual justification, which is again, very common into martial arts is to come up with some idea of, of you know, training in hell and, uh, you know, these dojo where people will almost get killed. And there's, you know, there's very typical in Aikido, for example, saying that there was that generation they were training so hard and so hard, but it was tough and tough. And they came out with a black belt in two years. No, they came out with a black belt in two years because the, you know, the expansion of the organization needed to have more black belts to teach more classes. Oh, and, that's and, interesting. Yeah, we're going to get <laughs> this. This clip is going to be crazy. <laughs> I feel a, a lot so, of the clips that that I'm going to make out of this, uh, this whole podcast. But yeah, so again, I might be wrong, but if you look at the numbers, you see going from zero to exponential in, in, in five years or six years. And it, it doesn't have to be, I don't think people have to see this personal and say, well, you're saying my professor got their black belt in two years and this shit, I know now and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not saying that, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not absolutely not saying that, but looking at the numbers, there's a lot of VJJ studios that came up. Some of those closed up too. Okay, and some are closing because of the quality of the teaching. But when you have an initial phase of expansion of any martial art, any social phenomenon, you have this big boom. Mm -hmm. It has to be that way. Otherwise, BJJ will, will still be practiced in a garage in West Hollywood. Mm. But, you know, like I'm thinking, too, because to open a BJJ, I've, I've, I've seen BJJ schools be opened by blue belts, purple belts. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and of course they keep working with their instructor because they're affiliated, and eventually they 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 climb up the ranks and all that. But yeah. I think that's that that's a thing too. Like you see the explosion, but not necessarily all the all those schools are 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 uh, are uh, are owned by black belts. It could be owned by like the professor. Yeah, that too. You yeah. Know? So I think I think that might be a possibility there too. You know, just to be that, fair with the uh, the BJJ no, no, community. That is a possibility. But uh, think about this way. You have no understanding of what BJJ is. You, you watch videos on YouTube, MMA fight, and you decide you want to go BJJ. Okay, you want to learn BJJ. You get good for you. Okay, great path, great community, et cetera, et cetera. And then you have two studios. One is run by a black belt. One is run by a purple belt or a blue belt. Which one are you going to go? Probably as a complete belt. beginner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh yeah, the black belt, hundred so, percent. Yes, hundred percent of black belt. So I'm not saying that happened all the time, but at least an initial phase of the expansion, you can sustain. Okay, so you can sustain growth of dojo based on two things: rank and lineage. Mm -hmm. so to sustain it based on lineage, you have to have a clear. You know, people have to clearly understand what the lineage is, and that's why we have the UFC because there you have the name Gracie's over everywhere. So you say, this dojo is affiliated with the Gracie, I'm going to that studio, okay? Because I can retrace the lineage. Mm -hmm. So one thing is lineage. Again, it takes a little bit of capital uh, 
from a knowledge from the person they will get in. You're not going to get people just walk by and, and getting into your studio. And then you get, you know, the black belt, the black belt effect, the instructor effect. And what you're saying before, I have to choose between a blue belt and a black belt. I don't know anything about BJJ. I just know it's cool. I want to practice. I want to learn it. I go with a black belt because I don't know better. So that's the incentive from the organization part to have black belts. Uh, and otherwise you can't explain why at a certain point in karate in the United States, you have this boom of 15, you got master can with all these, you know, stripes on the black belt, like 15 down black belt, <laughs> 15 uh, down in, black belt. In, ka in karate. Uh, oh, well, we have 15 down in, in, in Bujinkan, right? Uh-huh. And it, you know, they, they go up to 15 down. They Nick Dojo showed how they do it. They have to be mad. They have to avoid a strike on their head when they're blind, you know, folded and and whatever. If you look at that video, so it's silly, it's ridiculous. But then you have the inflation of ranking because you want to attract more people. And, and there's no martial art that is completely immune to that. To, at least at, yeah. at least at some point in their in their life. In their yeah, I'm not getting yeah. in their evolution. And I'm not suggesting that we're going to have, you know, two years, 50, two years black belt given to a five years old, like in certain Taekwondo studios in the United mm -hmm. States. We're not getting, probably going to get there because there's a reputational mechanism and, and BJJ is invested in this idea of being hard to get. Mm -hmm. But there was a time where that wasn't that true. Yeah, but also I feel as though like um, in BJJ, <clears throat> you know, like what they say, it's hard to get. It, it might be hard to get because it's just unstru it's, it, it, there's just no structure to it, <laughs> you know, because they want, you you be, they want you to be like an expert, uh, like an expert level, like before they give you your black belt. Whereas in judo, black belt is only the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's like you in, in judo, like my, 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 my first coach always told me that... Um, well, no, when like everything that you do uh, up and uh, during your, your, uh, your colored belts, your evolution in your colored belts, you know, your, your, your yellow belt, your orange belt, your green belt, and all the competitions mm -hmm. you do, that's just kids play. Mm -hmm. Once you finally get your black belt, now we start. Now, like you, you got the fundamentals down. Now you have your, you, you, you understand judo. You know what judo is. You have, uh, your foundation is very solid. Now we start building, you know? So a judo and people are going to disagree with me here. Um, you know, some people are like, oh, it takes 10 years in my club, in, in my country, whatever, whatever. It doesn't take you 10 years to get a, like a black belt in judo. I would have gotten it in five if it wasn't for the pandemic right now. Mm -hmm. But because of the pandemic, I was working towards it. I got all my points and everything. Um, and I was working towards it. My exam was supposed to be uh, this summer, uh, uh, June uh, 2022. I was going to do my black belt exam. I was going to get my black belt, but I would have gotten that. Up. But now, like, we're all locked down again. So forget that for yeah. the foreseeable future. So that's on the back burner again. But I would have gotten, and the pandemic lasted, what, about 20 months? I, I would have gotten my black belt by now, like, if it right. wasn't for, for this whole thing. But now I'm going to, by the time I get it, it's going to be six, seven, you know, like seven, eight, eight, seven to eight years. Who knows, you know? But all that to say that um, in judo, Black belt is just the beginning, mm -hmm. you know? And of course, and, and then from there, doesn't mean that you're not good. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that black belt is the beginning, you know? And after that you have, that's just like first dan. Because <laughs> yeah. when, when you look at the, the system, like um, a Q, a Q is a level, you know? So you mm -hmm. got like, uh, you start at, um, was it first, second? Uh, like, okay, I'm going to go, go backwards. Like it's six, yeah, it goes five, backwards. four, three. Yeah, 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 exactly. Then when you get to first Q, it means you're a brown belt. And then when you get your, your uh, your black belt it's shodan first dan that's first dan and then you have second dan, and you can you know yeah. you, it takes time to climb that to climb that and experience and all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff so that's where the journey begins whereas um you know in, in 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 bjj it's like of course if you do something for 10 years you're gonna get really good at it so there's that ten thousand hour rule that um that right. people talk about, you know, that if you do 10,000 10, hours of anything, you're going to be uh, essentially an expert in it. And yeah. so BJJ, that's what they're saying. And it's, it's not, it's not, it's just that they structured it differently. And I think that they might not even have a structure to begin with. And they just kind of, 
made it up ah, and I, I don't know I don't know I don't know it depends probably depends also the whatever organization you're talking to but I, I agree with you that's an important thing that it has to be said that there's a disconnection with with the expectation that you have with the same apparently the same belt color or belt ranking where you know with traditionally in Japanese martial arts it's yeah it's it's literally a starting point so mm -hmm. you were just you were in probation before and now we're going to talk we're going to start talking about real thing whereas mm -hmm. in BJJ the sense they have of it is the point of arrival and then of course you can always progress after that but it's a point of arrival so that's when you hear things like oh well yeah the BJJ blue belt will just uh, own a judo black belt they say well yeah because they're in terms of what they it's their sort of competence there are about the same level yeah yeah exactly exactly you know and, and and it could be argued too that well it's going to depend on the black belt because there's levels to the that's, game like yeah absolutely that's if that's, if, if, if you have like a, a national like an international level competitor you know who started very young and now he gets his black belt at 16 and, you know and 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 you know now it's been a couple of years he's had his black belt you know and he's still competing you know, um, he's going to give you like, and their school like had a, had a, you know, like, a, uh, let's say a 40, 60 distribution, you know, like 60% mm -hmm. standing up and 40% on the ground. And he's at a high level at an international level. He'll smack he, he that, that blue belt ha has no chance. Cause that guy no, is no, absolutely superior athlete, you know, like, a, a, a elite level athlete, give that to a blue belt who did BJJ for, let's say two, two years, he's getting killed on the ground too. Like, no, no, absolutely. 